it's about you. This is about you, our participants and your participation. And on that note, I'm delighted to welcome to the podium uh, Michal Amarahartik, who took part in the very early stages of the TILDA study and who um, has kindly come today just to thank you all for your contribution. Thank you, Michal. I, he needs no other introduction. How fortunate we all are that Roseanne Kenny decided to come back from England to take charge of this wonderful study that has been done. So I think at this moment she deserves a great, great pool of applause. I don't know, did you notice the shape of the book yet presented to her by Dr. Prendergast? To me, it re resembles the Sam Maguire Cup. <laughs> and on Sunday week, Mayo will be playing in the All-Ireland final. 100 years after they played the first, they have been driven by that. And when they last won, I can still see her father Billy Kenny shining on the wing on the Mayo team that won the All Irelands of 1551. This could be the second Sam Maguire appearing in her hands this week. <laughs> now, now, it's a wonderful sight. And we got glimpses of the wonderful results that it has brought. Now, I thought several times sitting down there and listening today of a little sentence I read in a book that was written by a man born in the Blasket Islands. And he wrote a book, Fehebli and Igfos. I think he was in his 30s. And it was just an account of his life from as far back as he could remember until he was 20 years of age. That's why Fehebli and Igfos. 20 years developing, growing. And then the phrase continued later in the book, Fehebli and Igfos, Fehebli and Fuivla, 20 years of blooming, 20 to 40. And you feel that if this was falling down now, with just one hand you could hold it. The sky was the limit. That brought you to 40. Next score years, Fehebli and Igma. Now, the direct translation into English of Egma is decay. But what he meant was declining. <laughs> and not pain here and there. Can't run as fast. You've not sought as much for teams as you used to. <laughs> Fehebli and Egma. That brought you to 60. And the rest was the most interesting. And look at the change that has taken place. And then Fehablian Gurkuma Aunuas. That's from 60 to 80, 20 years that nobody gave a damn whether you were there or not. <laughs> now, that is the biggest, biggest change that has come over society. From what it was then to what it is now. People now realize the store of information and experience and everything that older people have. And when Sati came up here, what that stuck with me, she volunteered herself. She let people know that she was there and that she'd like to share what she had with them, especially soldiers like that. Now, you were all willingly participating. 68% response, what a response. So my main purpose of being here is to congratulate you all for the spirit in which you took part. She mentioned the attitude, it's very important, it's growing. So it's not alone appreciated all over Ireland, but news of this has spread far and wide. We're only in the beginning. And typically the last graph was shooting up in the air. Last word I'll say, I read somewhere, people have been born already in Ireland that will live to be 135 years. We're all born. We could meet again when we're all, you know, 135 years of age. Nila Hillel Aragum, 
It's a wonderful occasion and people that went about the survey, those people, the people that helped them, the finality of it is brilliant. Gorumila Mahagai, Agus Gomera Midbiora, and Amsterdam.